Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand what is approval process in Salesforce. So let's say you have applied for your leave in your office. Now this leave record will go actually to your manager and manager will be able to see that okay XYZ user has applied for leave from this day to this day. This is the reason and this is the reason for the leave. And after a complete review for like what is the reason for the leave and from which date to which date your leave is, he can approve or reject your leave. Now the same functionality can be built using Salesforce using approval process where a user will submit the record for the approval and his manager will be approving or rejecting his record. So let's jump to a Salesforce org to understand how to create an approval process. So under to understand uh, what approval process in Salesforce is, I have actually created a leave object. Inside this leave object, we can see multiple fields like what is the leave name, from what date to what date the leave would be, and what is the reason for the leave, and what are the statuses of the leave. Like if you have submitted the leave, it is inside the review and it is approved by the manager or rejected by the manager, and vice versa. So now we will go to the approval process, like search for the approval process inside the process or inside the quick find box, and you will be able to find this uh, this page. And select your object for which you have to create this uh, approval process. So right now we have to create the approval process for the leave object. So click on this create new approval process and use jumpstart wizard. Now here you just provide the name of the approval process. So we will give leave leave submit process. Let's say leave submit process. And if like this checkbox, like this text box is used. Like suppose you have submitted the record for the approval. And whoever is going to approve the record, he will get an email like the record is submitted for the approval. So this email template can be attached over here. Another thing is add the submit for approval button inside the page layout. So inside the leave, as we can see right now, we do not have any leave right now, leave record, leave record. But if we click at the right top, you will be able to see a submit for approval button. This will be visible to you only if this checkbox is checked. Now the main things come is specify the entry criteria. So when will be the record applicable to submit for approval? So let's say whenever we are going to cre create a leave record. So I'm going to create a leave record. Let's say I have a marriage. Okay, I have a marriage from 9th of February to 18th of February and I have a reason for leave is I have marriage and the status of leave is I am submitting the leave right now I am just submitting the leave and I am clicking on save so if you want this leave to be uh, sent for the approval there is a button right now over here that is submit for approval button if we click on this this record will be automatically gone for approval so right now we are going to provide like when will this record be applicable for approval so let's say if the status of leave is submitted if the user has kept the status of leave as submitted only then this record should be sent for approval so in this case what we will do is we will specify the entry criteria as status of leave equals submit so if the status of leave is submit only then the record will be applicable for approval or else it won't be next thing is who will approve this record so inside of the user there is a manager field inside our if we go to this user record there is a manager field inside so like i'll show you one second there's a manager field over here inside the user record As you can see there is a manager field over here so if i am going to populate suppose if i am going to populate any other user as my manager he will be applicable to submit my record for the whatever record i have sent for approval the these records will be submitted to him so if you want to do that we can say that automatically assign an approval using a standard custom hierarchy so whoever would be my manager he will get the record for approval but right now we can also submit it to the queues we can submit the record for the queues we can automatically assign uh, to a particular user or anyone like that but what if we want it to be manually decided if i want to 
decide at the run time whom do I need to submit this record for the approval then I will choose let the submitter choose the approval manually so I will get the option to select who will approve my record so I am going to select the approver as let submitter choose the approver manually and I am going to click on save already one process actually existed so I am just going to rename it to new and click on save So as you can see there is an empty criteria that if the leave status leave status equals to submitted only then will the record my record the leave record will be submitted for the approval approval so next is nothing but initial submission actions once the record is submitted what we want to do so let's say if my record is submitted once i click on the submit for approval button and the record is submitted i want the status of leave to change to review in review so i understand that the, my record is set, uh, submitted uh, for approval successfully and right now my manager is going to review this record so in that case that can be handled using initial submission action so what needs to be done after the record is sent for the approval so let's say following things can be done we can send an email alert we can update a field we can send an outbound message but right now we have to send it we have to update a field so we can say status and we want to update the field of status of leave to in review so as soon as your record is submitted for approval your leave status would be changed to in review next thing is approval actions final approval actions so once the record is approved by your manager what things should happen so in our case if the record is approved by your manager we want that the status should be changed to approved and if it is rejected by your manager it should be changed to rejected so once the record is approved what needs what things needs to be done so right now we can again send an email alert field update or outbound message so we are going to update the field in our case again i am going to update the field status of leave to approved and i am click i am going to click on save and last is final rejection actions so what if what if the manager rejects the record what ne things needs to be done that can be handled inside the final rejection actions so right now again i am going to update the field And I'm going to change the status of leave to rejected. And the last thing is recall actions. So let's say you have submitted any record for approval. So right now, if I have submitted this record for approval, and I want that date should be updated, it should be updated from 18 to 19. In that case, we can again call back that approval again call back that approval record and we can make changes to it accordingly and we can again submit for approval so this can be done using the recall actions so right now our approval process is ready i'm going to activate it i'm logged in as salesforce in five minutes user in my chrome browser and inside the edge browser i am logged in as raju Srivastava. so right now there is no leave record for him so this leave record as the status is for submit the status of leave is equals to submit and the entry criteria is also submit i will be able to submit it for approval but what if the status of leave i have changed to something else so i have changed it to approved and as the entry criteria is that the leave status should be equal to submit so even though if i click on submit for approval button no applicable process was found because the entry criteria was leave status should be equal to submit only then he will uh, the leave record will be able to find the proper submit approval process so i am going to change the approval status to submit and click on save so right now status of leave is submit and our approval entry criteria was also the same if i click on submit for approval
as we had submit we as we had selected that we should be able to manually select who will approve our record hence we are getting this checkbox uh, this box and i want that raju shivasta should approve my record which which is logged in inside the edge browser and if i click on submit as you can see the status of leave is automatically changed to in review so right now i know my marriage leave that whatever i have applied it's not right now in review inside by my manager who is raju shrivastava and as raju shrivastava even if i would i would have got a notification so as you can see salesforce in five minutes is requesting approval for leave marriage leave a few seconds ago if i click on it as rajiv shrivastav actual approver rajiv shrivastav he can either approve the record or either reject the record or either reassign to some other person so right now as we can see the status of the leave is in review as soon as rajiv shrivastav is going to approve the record and if i am going to refresh the same record inside as a salesforce in 5 minutes user you will be able to see the status of leave is changed to approved so this is how the overall approval process works in salesforce and this is how you can create your own approval process in salesforce if you found this video helpful please subscribe to our channel